What would you make? Well, stay tuned and see what I've made. This challenge is hosted by Zaina from OK at Home, Connie from Connie's Creative Creations, and their guest host this month is Ellie from DIY from House to Home. Their links, along with the playlist link, will be in my description box down below. Please go check it out. Now, let's start crafting. So what we're starting out with here are some 2x4s that I cut down to 48 inches. I've got one laying on its side, and the other one I'm going to lay on top. The other little 2x4 that's in there is just to help lay this one on top so it doesn't fall over. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use some wood screws. I believe they're about three inches or three and a half inches and my drill. And we're going to attach the two pieces together. And I make one, two, three of these. And this is what it should look like. Now what I'm going to do is I'm taking two of the pieces that I make. No, I didn't make three of these. I made one, two, three, four, six of them. Sorry. I'm going to take two of them that I make. I'm going to measure it out because I want them to measure out to 16 inches in total width. So I've got to using my measure and just pushing it into the 16 inch mark. I'm then going to, on the inside, measure out how far from one end to the other is. And it measured out to be about 12 inches. Taking my saw, I'm going to measure out 12 inches. Mark it with my pencil. And then chop it down with my saw. And I make 12 of these at the 12 inch mark and then I have 14 of the 48 inch mark. Measuring and making sure I'm in the right area. Cut away. Next, what again I'm doing is measuring it out so that I'm at the 16 inch in total. And then I'm going to take four of the 12 inch pieces and line them up on the inside. Measuring it out as best as I can in between the two. And then I'm going to screw them down with the same screws. Here's the two that I'm using so far, side by side. I've got it measured out to four feet. Taking another four foot board, I'm gonna screw it into place on the bottom. And then I stick one on the top as well. And I do the same thing to the other side. And again, just using some screws. And that's what it looks like so far. Now taking the third one that I made with the braces in between, I need to get it over to that mark that I showed you. So I'm just using a rubber mallet and pounding it into place. It fit in there good. She was a tight squeeze, let me tell ya. But I got it there. And then I'm going to tack it down with some screws as well, on the top and on the bottom. Now using some wafer board, chipboard, aspenite, people call it many different things, measuring it out to the four foot piece using something straight to draw my line. I'm going to use my little circular saw and cut that down and I make four of these. This is five eighths wafer board or chip board or aspen. All right, so this is what I have done so far. Um, I'm going to cut the rest of the pieces for the sides and this here is the bottom. So that's the top down there. I'm going to cut them all and get them ready. But I'm going to install them in place where I want this so it's not so heavy to move. I also have a backing for it that I cut. They're over there. Cut those down. I think I showed you. And I also showed you cutting this here. Um, this here is not the most ideal thing to use, but it's what I have. I'm trying to use what's 
in my stash and I've got lots of stuff. Just, I wish it was 16 inches instead of 12 inches so that, I'll show you here, so that it would cover the entire thing. But I'm using what I have, so this is suffice. At least it covers in my hole, right? So this is the bottom. I'm gonna flip it over, move it into place, get all the rest of my pieces ready and install all the room while I'm well, it's in place or somewhat in place, so it's not so heavy. And then I'll show you, I need to get some shelves, which are gonna go on these ones, and then one down there, maybe one on the bottom, but that's kind of a shelf on its own as soon as I put the bottom in. And this here area is for, I have uh, a thing with drawers. It's gonna fit in there. So yeah, that's what I have done so far. It's been a beautiful day out to be doing this. I'm so happy. I think tomorrow it's supposed to rain. So I've got all my cutting done and most of it put together. So yeah, on to the next step. So this is where the shelf I'm making is gonna go. It's gonna take over this shelf here. That one's coming out. I've made room in the shelf so that this can slide into it so I can still use it. And then I have to figure out what to do all with this. Um, it should, if my measurements are correct, it should go from that little wall all the way out to the end of the stairs here, somewhere close to it. But that's where it's going. All I have left to do is I have to put on the backing which I'm going to use my air nailer with. I need to put on the two sides and the top because right now that's the bottom. And then find pieces for shelving to go in between. So that's what I'm gonna do now. And there we have it. I know it's not the prettiest looking thing it's not really built all that, you know, professional with using wafer board or some people call it aspenite chipboard. And, you know, it's not. But for what I want it for, it's functional and it's going to work. And I did it on my own. And it's sturdy. That's the main thing. It's not going to fall over. It's not going to crash down. It fits my little stand there in there. I still have to do something with the ribbons down the bottom, but that's next project. Maybe I need a break. This took a lot out of my brain, but now I have to fit all that back over here. Thanks. And here it is all set up and ready to go and lots of extra room. I would like to thank the I ladies for hosting this challenge. I really enjoyed making this unit. If you're a returning subscriber, I'd like to say hey, thanks for always returning and continually to support me. If you're new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button, like this video, and don't forget that bell. I'm working on getting 2,000 hours, so please help me out. I hope everybody has a wonderful day, and we'll see you again next time. Bye.